Connor Nolan, what he brings to the table. I'm really excited about him. Had a chance to go and spend some time with him and his family. Really excited about his competitive background that he brings. I think he's going to be a great player for us. Being at Arkansas, you just got to gotta be the guy no matter where you go, so it's just part of the deal. He always gives us a chance to win every time he's on the mound. I always know that he's going to compete and get after it. And his feel on the mound is really good. This is Spirit 52, recapturing the real spirit of high school sports in Arkansas. Presented by Gatorade and First Security Bank. Inspiring us all to what's possible. Greenwood two-sport athlete Connor Nolan is signed to play both football and baseball for the Arkansas Razorbacks. He's well known for being a state champion quarterback, but he's also a talented pitcher on the diamond. I like striking people out. You know, that's that's kind of the highlight of my day, you know, getting out there and competing against those guys. But it's you and the batter, and best person wins. He's faced 65 batters this year, and he's struck out 34 of them. So the numbers speak for themselves. It's fun to watch. I mean, it's like I'm in the stands watching, except I get a front row seat. I get to see the catcher sign, so I kind of anticipate what pitch is coming, and I'm just amazed how good it is whenever he pitches it. I saw Connor pitch a couple times this past summer and it was really good. If Connor just played baseball, I would say Connor would pitch for a long time. He's a 90 mile an hour kid with a good curveball. He's had a lot of good baseball players and obviously he knows what he's talking about. So for him to say that about me, that means a lot. I definitely appreciate that. As some of the scouts would say, the best amateur breaking ball that they've seen this year. Which says a lot because those guys watch a lot of players. With Nolan to being great at baseball, he could get drafted high in the MLB draft and skip playing for the Razorbacks to go pro right out of high school. For him, potential wise, I think baseball is where he will make his money at. When you look at it, there's only what, 20, 30 quarterbacks in the, in the league, whereas each staff in Major League Baseball has sometimes 15 to 20 starters and relievers. It's definitely a dream of everybody I think that plays baseball. They want to play in the MLB and you know, just have to take the right amount of money and the right organization for me to go. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to college, so it's going to take a lot to sway me that way. I know he's a fantastic baseball player. I look forward to watching him play, matter of fact. Uh, this spring and seeing his skill set. I, I feel confident, you know, it's hard to say that right now, but all indications are he's going to be here and be ready to go. Of course, we can't forget his football ability, as he had nothing but success in high school and fits right into Chad Morris's up tempo offense at Arkansas. Connor can throw it sideline to sideline, boundary to boundary. There's no throws that he can't make, and that makes it really, really difficult to defend. Plus, he's elusive enough. If you try to pressure him, he can scramble around and, and make plays with his feet. He's a lot of fun coaching Connor, there's no doubt about it. I think I fit perfect. I mean, I ran almost the same offense in high school, so I transitioned well into that. I don't know how you could draw up any better I would think that Coach Morris would look for a quarterback pretty much like Connor. You got a guy six foot two, can hose it, and also has the escapability with his feet. I want someone that wants to get out there and wants to compete. You want someone that has a great competitive heart and drive about themselves. Once Coach Morris came in, I felt really confident in him and his coaching staff. They came in a lot of energy. They talked to me right away. Once Nolan steps on campus in Fayetteville, he'll be competing for playing time in football and baseball and trying to handle something that not many people can do, play two sports in college. I think I I've been preparing my whole life for that. I think it's all about time management. It's a business once you get to college, but I think there's going to be people up there that will help me. Quarterback's a leader. You know, you want them in there early and leaving late. And, you know, I just got to use up all my time efficiently. I know that playing at the collegiate level, especially at Arkansas and the SEC level, it's, it's really, really tough. You know, if anyone can, can do it, he probably can. He's got phenomenal work ethic, and it's, it's a lot easier for him to do it as a pitcher than a position player. We're planning on him doing both. There's no doubt in my mind if time-wise get it worked out that he can do both. I, I think that, that you'll see Connor Nolan pitching for us. I want players that play multiple sports. I feel like that does a couple of things. I think it, number one, develops a, an overall skill set, a well-rounded skill set. Two, it shows me that this young man can be coached in different ways. Redshirting or not redshirting, it's just how well I compete. Anywhere you go in the country, there's gonna be competitions, but obviously on the baseball side, there's more opportunities to get on the field. And him working every single day and making himself not only a better baseball player or football player, but a great human being. I hope you enjoyed this week's story brought to you by First Security Bank. Here's a sneak peek at next week's episode. For a guy that, you know, is at a 1A basketball school that's got about 400 kids kindergarten through 12th grade to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I think that just says a lot about his discipline to, to get up every day and go to work and, and to want to win. I walk out that last day, uh, it, that probably will be a little bit emotional on me. At third base, number 21, Connor Nolan.